Let's get the show on the road and let's give Mr. A some exposure. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to Burlington Homes TV. I am your host, Sebastian Malinowski. And this, my friends, is Burlington's most passionate real estate and lifestyle show. On today's episode, we're going to talk about the future of Alton Village West by Sundial Homes. Stay tuned. <laughs> So Lisa, anybody who's anybody knows that Alton Village West by Sundial Homes opened up this, uh, this past weekend, of course. And we're going to get into what's happening in Alton Village West because I've received tremendous amount of emails asking what's happening, what's the future of Alton Village West. So we'll definitely get into that. But first, I just want to share with you, we ran an ep uh, a webinar last week, Lisa here with me, my wife Alita and myself, we put on a webinar last week on buying new construction home. We knew that Alton Village West was opening around the corner, so we wanted to put an educational seminar to people. Whoever wanted to tune in, they can tune in. Whoever didn't, didn't. I yeah. threw out the invitation. Many people have shown up. Yeah, we were inundated with requests for information about new construction and sundial specifically, but new construction. Yes. Many people have not bought new construction. What is the difference between buying new construction versus buying a resale they home? They didn't know what to expect. And because so many questions, we decided to put together an educational video for people yeah. just to fill in the blanks for them. Video, webinar, that's right. We did a webinar with a Q&A yeah. at the end, uh, for sure. So after this webinar, we got some hate mail. Hate mail. We got... We got a couple, we got a hate mail. A hate mail, you're right. Not you even a couple. You hate mail, that's a plural. We got okay, a maybe. hate mail and dozens and dozens of accolades, but yes, Sebastian has a hate mail. And I want to go through this hate mail with you because I just wanted to share with you. First of all, to whoever wrote this hate mail, I'm not going to reveal the name. Thank you. I, I genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for the email because I truly do want feedback from everybody. Whether it's good, bad, or ugly, indifferent, I don't care. Just send it to me. It makes us a better team. Exactly. I'm going to read this hate mail to you. Sebastian, the webinar yesterday was completely unprofessional. Don't cry. With a tagline like that, they've got now, now they've got my attention. I'm like, okay, what's going on? What I expected to be information on New Alton Village West development turned into a biased bashing of new home construction. Biased bashing. Okay, well, let's, let's stop right there. Like... <laughs> <laughs> that's okay it was a webinar on buying new homes yeah in fact that's in what fact, it was it was a it webinar was about. about buying new homes that was the fact that's what it was about yes not uh, uh, not biased either way it was just no. informational exactly i've bought new i've bought new many times many times so we i live in alton village in a sundial home and would i buy new again i would buy new of again course. with the education and with the knowledge that i have exactly. and that's what we're trying to do share that information exactly that's all we wanted to do was not biased it was actually just educational based if it came across biased again my apologies it was not meant to be like that let me continue you're pre you presented all the pos uh, possible negatives of a new construction home in an effort to gain customers under the pretense of an unbiased opinion. You spoke only to the positives in existing home purchase without any of the risks and negatives and tried to push your services like staging as an upside as opposed to a hidden new construction fee. I'm not sure what that means. I'm not sure. I don't know if there's a ty typo, grammatical okay. error. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. I am removing myself from this list and expect never to be contacted by your or anyone association with your brokerage. Again, there could be a typo in there. Um, I will share my experience with all my acquaintances and will make sure to mention it to Sundal as your actions were highly unethical. He was going to tell on me, Lisa. Yeah, but didn't to you go Sundial. to Sundial this weekend? I and, did. did. and didn't they say, Everybody hey, Sebastian, knows everyone's looking webinar. for you. Everyone wants to talk to you. You Sebastian's can, famous. You can tell on me all you want. Sundown knows exactly what I'm doing. I spoke to the sales office in there. He's a great guy. We shake hands. We're friends. Sure. And you know what? Really, am I sinking the Sundown ship over here, Lisa? If that's what somebody's trying to do, that I I, because we're agents, we're trying to get people to move away from buying new. I don't think so. Because what? They buy new, and guess what? They move in a few years, and we sell them. So the more houses there are, the more business you, we have. You know, I wish we, we had more sundials here. Sure. Because it's, a, it's just a crazy, stupid <clears throat> seller's marketplace right now, you know? <laughs> so let me continue. I invited close friends to view the webinar, and I am ashamed. Yes, he is ashamed, Lisa, of what was presented to them. 
I expected more from someone who calls themselves a professional. And he signed, well, he signed his name. We'll call him Mr. A. Okay, wait. That's Mr. A because Mr. his a. name starts with an A, not because of what you're thinking, yes. maybe. Yes, his name starts with an A. I do not want to <laughs> reveal this, this source, <laughs> yeah, but I wanted a- to share this with you. Uh, and again, I'm not offended. Actually, stuff like that just drives me to do more and to do better. So if you do have feedback on any of the videos, shoot me off a, an email to me personally. Personally, from you to me, Sebastian at BurlingtonHomes.com. Whether you love the videos or hate the videos, I don't mind. Just give me some feedback. Don't sit on the fence. You either like it or you don't. That, sure. That's the way I look at life. You either like something or you don't. So thank you again for this email. We have received other positive emails, like I have said. And I'm going to dissect this one a little bit as well. This video could be a little bit longer, so stay with us here. That We will have a conclusion uh, for this. Oh, actually... This is what we presented. I'm just going to do a quick shot here uh, on the webinar. There's a column here on the on the left, you know, what to expect when you're buying new, and on the right, what to expect when you're buying resale. And I'm not sure whether Mr. A thinks this is unbiased in any way, shape, factual. or form, but it, it's factual. You know, buying new construction homes are there hidden, not hidden fees, are the extra fees? Yes. Sure. Closing costs are they more? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Is there a higher risk? Yes, of course there is. Yeah, but I'm do you not, have a warranty? Yeah, you do. And in you a resale, do you don't. You have a warranty. Right? E- exactly. So the pros and cons to both, we run buyer's classes as well on how to buy new. There are so many neg on how to buy resale, my apologies. Yeah. There are pros and cons to buying resale as well. And I'm not here to hide anything or to have sure. a biased opinion just because I'm a real estate sales professional. Mm-hmm. You do I- what you want to do. It's a little harder. You think about buying anything, whether it's a house or a car or anything else. When you buy something sight unseen, there's more unknown variables. More things can yeah. go wrong. That's it all can. there is to it. That's and there's more you know, costs that may happen. That's right. If you want to buy a sundial, you know where the sales office is. You're, you're an adult. You can think for yourself. I'm not here to change your mind or your opinion. Here's another email, Lisa. Love your videos with an exclamation point. Thank you. Thank you. I would love to know your personal opinion on Alton Village and the prices. So let's stop here because this is a huge thing. Alton Village and the prices. They made, they're obviously in the million dollar mark. 31 foot lots are starting at 850. They go up to $1,024,000. Now this is what it was on opening day. Square footage goes from 1743 square feet for the 850 homes and for the million dollar homes. Uh, it goes up to almost 2,800 square feet. So those are 30 foot, 31 foot lots. 36 foot lots start at 930, and they go up to $1.143 million. 1824 square feet all the way up to 3,300 square feet. Okay. So is that reasonable? My opinion about these lots, and we said this, we touched on this on the webinar, Sundell and any new builder that's coming into the Burlington marketplace, they will sell your home today with tomorrow's prices. Because by the time you move into this home, will it be worth what you paid for it? Yes, I do believe uh, that's exactly what's going to happen. So what do you think about the size of the lots? It is what it is these days. I live in Alton Village. I live on a postage stamp. I call it Smurf Village, not because I don't like it. It is what it is. I have a busy lifestyle and I want the postage stamp to live on. I find, you know, Sebastian, that is becoming more and more of a thing with people yeah. because people have very busy lives. And you know what? I used to live in South Burlington, had a very large lot. Yep. I don't want to mow that anymore. Same now I live me. in yeah. Millcroft now and I still have a good size pool pool lot and everything. Yep. And you know, it's still maintenance, but I can understand that. And because these communities are planned, there's parks, there's skate parks, you know, there's pathways to walk yeah. on. There's a lot of planning that goes in, that it's involved. You don't necessarily need the huge backyard because That's these communities right. are well planned. They are. I personally, I don't, like I said, I'm on the same boat. I lived in South Burlington as well, Lisa. It was too much maintenance for me. Now, if you're a person that loves your yard, that's great. There is nothing wrong with that. If your lifestyle suits a big backyard because you actually run around and enjoy and enjoy it, play frisbee catch, that's fine. There's a time. But There's it a is time. What it is. You know what? There's yeah. a time. If you want yeah. that privacy, you want that yard for your kids in exactly. the pool, and you want that feeling, you know, it's great. But mm-hmm. I see a lot of people who are just saying their lives are too busy for that. So yeah. you know what? Yeah. You have choices. Great thing about Burlington, you have the you choice. You have choices. South Burlington, North Burlington, so many different choices out there for sure, Lisa. I personally know of a few people who waited in line to get a price list for those new Alton Homes houses, and they ended up walking away, and in brackets, after waiting forever. 
due to shock from the prices and lot sizes. It doesn't surprise me. 99% of people, that's exactly what they were doing. They're looking at prices, lots, and they're saying, forget it, I'm walking away. Do you have a price list with, uh, with lot sizes. I don't have an actual price list, but I mentioned kind of the, the scale right now in this mm-hmm. video. And uh, certainly they have one there. It's not as busy there, now. Th- that's it's, right. You can walk into the yeah. sales office. They have price lists for you, 31, 36 foot yeah. lots. It's there. Yeah. We don't work for Sundial. <laughs> so we have a little bit of information, yeah, but if you want exactly. the most accurate information on the actual prices per yeah. lot, go in. By the time you see, watch this video, prices may have already changed. That's, yeah. that's reality. Mm-hmm. That's reality. I love this part at the end. You guys are awesome. And I love your videos, Catherine. Isn't Thank that- you, Catherine. That was an unbelievable email. And that's what I'm talking about. If you have something positive to say, send us an email. If you have something negative to say, send us an email. I love, I love all your feedback. It doesn't matter. Here's another quick email. Where did they come up with those overpriced homes? No, thanks. That was the email comment at least they weren't bashing my website webinar they were just bashing sundial (laughs) but you know it is what it is uh here's the third one and i'll and i'll end with this one here thanks sebastian we stopped in on saturday on Sunday. sunday and saw that 34 lots have been sold which in fact they have been lisa there were several couples there sounded like they were from to toronto and that these homes and prices were not all too unexpected See that? They're coming in from Toronto and these they, prices look good to them. They, they look good. They were here to get a deal. And not only that, from they Toronto. don't pay double land transfer tax. Exactly. <laughs> so when you start comparing us to Toronto, you're actually getting yourself a good home here. Per Sandal. Now, this is what she says per Sandal quote, many investors were disappointed with our pricing. This is what Sandal says. But these days are over. We have priced at market value. That's what they said. We'll look forward to your next episode on our bright future of Alton West. Cheers, Don. So Sandal acknowledges that they're at market value, but the investment days are long gone. And I do believe that. And I said, we said this in the webinar, Lisa. We said Sandal is not going to sell you fifty or $100,000 on under market value just so you buy. It makes no sense to them. The they buyers are, a are there. The buyers are there. They know what the returns have yeah. been in the market in this area over the last few years. They're projecting the price for the finish date. Yes. And it's as simple and as that. It's what, business. What, what, if you own a Sundial home, or maybe you have driven by their sales office when they were selling them five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years ago, what was your first reaction? Mm-hmm. It, it's like the guy from Home Alone. <clears throat> Shocked. I'm Home Alone. It, it was shock. It was it was panic. What are these guys doing with the prices? Why they are so why are they so high? They're way too expensive. Alton Village is sold out. Mm-hmm. Sold out, baby, as I like to say it. Yeah. And now this new one will sell out. Which brings us to our conclusion, Lisa. I've got four points here. Sun first point, Sundial will sell out. And I think that's kind of evident by what we've been suggesting the, this entire uh, episode here. They will sell out. Uh, in a few months when people go to see, okay, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to paint the picture. Prices in Burlington will continue to go up. It's inevitable. It's going to happen. Now, the same people that walked away from Sandow will be thinking, maybe I should go back and revisit Sandow office because prices are quickly going up in Burlington. And you know what? The inventory isn't there. So right. a lot of people are looking, saying, you know what, yeah. eh, maybe I'll look at resale. And then they're like, wow, there's a lot of competition out there. That's and when right. I go into Sundial, then this is the price. Exactly. So, you know, if they're in a hurry. But guess what's going to happen? Mm-hmm. Do you think Sundial is going to keep their prices the same? I highly doubt that it. That was the release date that price. That was the release date price. So six months from now, when you realize, maybe I should revisit Sundial, I'm going to go out and buy one. All of a sudden, you're looking at the sticker price, $20,000 more. Could be 10, it could be 50, whatever it is. It's going to be more. Then you're going to start thinking, oh. Maybe I should have. Maybe I could have. So if this is a Sundell bashing session, I'm here to tell you, buy Sundell now before they raise their prices. Sure. Right. Um, when Sundell st- started building Alton Village, people had the same opinion back then, and they sold out. So that was my third point, which we, of course, covered during this episode. So if you think your prices are high, go to Toronto. That's high. So... It is what it is. I do expect them to sell out. I don't, uh, they, they price themselves according to the market slightly in the future. Mm-hmm. And people will buy them. Sure. 
People want to live in Burlington. Yep. And the inventory is low, and people the houses will sell. And when they want to sell those houses, and the prices go up, the people yep. who are buying them, they're going to get their price for them. Exactly. Exactly. It is what it is. People were just the bearers of the news, not the uh, <laughs> not, not the makers of it. That's right. We're, we're, we report the news. We don't create the news. <laughs> Um, don't shoot the messenger. If you are curious about what's out there in the resale market and, and, and you want to know, we can give you all the listings from every brokerage out there. Uh, as soon as it gets listed, go to burlingtonhomes.com and click on search all homes. There's a button there. Click it, fill out the form. You'll start getting emails sent to you of all the listings that will come up on the market. If perhaps you're in the market to sell a home and you want to know what the neighborhood homes around me are selling for, so you can get a good idea of where your home stands in comparison to everybody else because it is a hot seller's market, click on what's my home worth again, put in your address. We'll custom make a, a, a report for you. We'll send it off to you and it'll give you a good idea of where your home is at. Anything else you want to add to that, Lisa? I don't think so. I think that covers everything. Thank you all for your feedback. We appreciate that. Thank you, that. yes. Please, please keep the feedback coming. Positive, negative. It doesn't really matter. Just keep it coming. Mm -hmm. From the bottom of my heart, from the place of love and caring, as always, folks, knowledge pays, ignorance costs.